off the top tonight. An MLK Day celebration turning to tragedy at a Miami park named for the civil rights leader. A total of eight people were shot. Of those victims, one is only 11 years old and five others are teenagers. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live now at Jackson Memorial Hospital to pick up the story from here. Andrew. And police still don't know who the intended target was. What we do know is that many people were injured and some of them critically, some of them still undergoing surgery at this hour. When this shooting happened, everyone just went running. Go be behind the dumpster. Stay behind the dumpster, you feel? People running for their lives in Northwest Miami-Dade. This is moments after several shots go off, bullets flying into crowds during a Martin Luther King celebration. <laughs> Eight people rushed away with gunshot wounds at MLK Park. Five of those victims are underage. The youngest is 11 years old. Police shut down the area searching for at least one shooter as witnesses ran for cover, not knowing what was going on. I stayed in my area and just, you know, prayed that it didn't come our way. I'm standing right there and my niece standing right there and they just started letting off shooting and everybody just stopped running. This woman's 14 year old niece was one of the injured. Shantaria Wilson was also shot along with Jerome Battle, a 20 year old college student. Right now they're just saying he's in surgery. He was shot in the leg and I'm, I'm hearing throughout the back. Officers would storm a home near MLK Park taking every precaution. Two men were later detained by that park. Police say they did recover two firearms here and they're still questioning those men. Police don't know why this happened right now and many at the event, they tell us they're outraged. I think it makes no sense on this day that we're celebrating a man who was all about nonviolence, that this kind of violence break out. Now keep in mind there were many other people heard just during all the running scrapes, bruises here at Jackson. So many families remain here waiting for word about their loved one. Keep in mind that this is an active and ongoing investigation. So if you have any information at all that can help police, you are encouraged to call Miami Dade detectives right away. That's the situation here in Miami. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Okay.